Hi and welcome to our midweek musing for Wednesday the 13th of May. I don't know if you watched the broadcast by the Prime Minister on Sunday evening, but one of the, one of the responses to it was, was confusion. What do, what do workers do if they're asked to, to go into work but don't believe it's safe? How are millions of people to, to get into work if, they, if they're not supposed to use public transport? What happens to hotel owners who, who want to know when and how they can, they can open up again? Is it really re- realistic to think about schools opening in some way in June? A lot of concerns about that. The, the Labour leader... Uh, responded by saying that uh, there was a lack of clarity which which the country desperately needed. He said it, it raised as many questions as it answered. And yes, over the, uh, the last few days there's been more detail, more clarification and things are starting uh, to become clearer. Challenging times for our nation but it also reminded me of the importance for clarity as, as a church, as, as the people of God. And it reminded me of something Paul wrote to the church at Corinth, when in uh, chapter 14 of his first letter, uh, verses 7 to 8, he says this, Even lifeless instruments like the, the flute or the harp must play the notes clearly, or no one will recognise the melody. And if the bugler doesn't send a clear call, how will the soldiers know they are being called to battle? Paul's focus is on the use of spiritual gifts, but there is a, there is a wider application. If people can't understand the music being played, it will just come across as noise. If people don't hear a clear message, they won't know what they're being asked to do and won't be able to, to prepare for it. And for me, this raises two questions for churches. Generally, in what we say and how in what we do, are we clear in communicating what we believe? In the context of COVID-19, what messages are we sharing with ourselves and with others? Last week, I was trying to share some ideas uh, with some people and I wrote an email and the responses I got back made it clear that I had um, raised more questions than answers. I had not provided clarity in my communication. And reflecting on that, it became clear that it became clear to me that I I wasn't totally clear myself what I was trying to say, and I certainly hadn't expressed it in in a very clear way. It's important to be clear. Think of the times when we, when we used to be able to meet together physically. Think of the times that we meet together now, virtually. Are there things that we did, are there things that we are doing that are, that are not clear, that are unhelpful, that leave people confused and uncertain? If so, what should we do about that? And what messages are we, as, as the church, as the people of God, giving to others about, about God, about our faith, about how we, we are responding to the situation that we are living in. Here's some questions to think about. What one thing in our church services could be most confusing to those with no church context? How could we make things clearer? How do we help people prepare for the service God is calling them to do? And how can we do this better? Looking back over the last few weeks, what could we have done as church or individuals to communicate more clearly about our faith in God or the life and hope that we have in Jesus? Some things to think about, some things to reflect on, maybe some things to change.